everybody. Merry Christmas in July. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here today. If you don't know me, I'm Carolyn, and I would love if you would subscribe. Those of you that hang out with me every week, so good to see you. I love seeing you guys. The Christmas season has just kind of gotten a little bit out of control, in my opinion. It used to be my absolute favorite time of year. I just loved every single thing about Christmas. But now, I mean, there's many reasons why Christmas has become a little more difficult for me emotionally. That plays a part in it. But just that hecticness of making sure that I haven't forgot anybody and I've got gifts for everybody and just all of that on top of the stress of the season. I thought this year, I'm gonna eliminate that. I have strategically written down everybody's name that I typically give a gift to, and then just throwing in a couple of small things, thinking just in case it's good to have something a little extra. So I'm gonna show you everything that I got, the checklist after everybody's name. I have bought it already. I'm gonna put it after this video into a closet, close that door and then come the end of November I'm gonna open that door and say Merry Christmas Carolyn and it is going to be a very wonderful reminder of how well I spent my time now in July when I actually have the time to do a little shopping and then I get to do what I really love I love gift wrapping I love being creative and making the gifts just as beautiful as possible I think that is almost the most fun for me in gift giving is having just a really pretty beautiful package to hand somebody and then I like writing a little note and when it's that season and I'm just rushed I, I find I sort of lack on writing nice little notes to everybody that I'm gifting. And that to me is what I really cherish about giving gifts is letting them know why I'm giving them gifts and why I love them and appreciate them so much. So I will have more time to just relax and do that. If you hate gift giving, just give me a call. Just kidding. But you can hire that out. Or you know what you can do? Just stick them in bags. Now they have the bags. The bags has kind of disappointed me because in the olden days, my husband used to wrap the gifts himself and it looked like a monkey had wrapped them, but that was like the highlight of my Christmas morning, seeing how my husband had wrapped the gifts. Uh, one year I remember he used duct tape, so that was kind of hilarious. But now the fun is gone, you guys. He sticks everything in a bag and where, where's the fun in that? So just a little reminder, don't stress over the wrapping if you hate it, stick it in a bag and throw in some tissue and it looks beautiful. So really quickly, let me just go through each item that I got. They're all in the Nordstrom sale. Last I checked, there's plenty of everything. So I will just show you exactly what I got and they're kind of random. They're kind of all over the place, but hopefully maybe it'll help you have some ideas if you want to give yourself a Christmas present in July. Okay, so this first thing are towels. So the towels come, I wanna say in about four or five different colors. I got just a really neutral color. They also come in white. So I think white would be a good color to get too, unless you really really know what they like and then get that specific color. But I think towels are a great idea. It's a nice couple gift, so you can give it to two people. So that sort of cuts down on the price on it. And it comes, you know, with this nice wrapping. I will say the towels didn't look like this when they arrived, but I refolded them and retied them and that was not a problem. And for me, towels are super important. We spend a lot of money on towels and sheets. I will admit that because those are two luxury things that we are blessed to be able to afford nice ones now. And that is something we do. It's like a treat we do for ourselves. But when we were younger, a young couple, young kids, we didn't have the money to spend on nice plush towels. So what a fun gift to get if, you know, you're just starting out, maybe you're children with their spouses, just a nice little family gift that you could give them. Comes with two towels, two hand towels, and two face towels, and I think it's just a great gift. We all know how soft and luxurious barefoot dreams are, so getting them in a pair of little sockets is a nice inexpensive thing that you could give if you wanna put in a stocking. I mean, they're not super cheap, they're like maybe 20 bucks, 
So it's also a really nice, maybe if your girlfriends are having a little holiday party, it might be a little nice little hostess gift. But these are just so soft and so luxurious. They're nice to put on after you put cream on your feet at night. I just love having a little pair of sockets from Barefoot Dream. So I thought that would be a great gift idea. So I actually got these socks for myself because they're for running and they're typically $33 and you can get them for like 20 bucks. So I thought that would be uh, something I would want myself. And then I thought, wait a minute, I know some runners in my life. This is a great gift because it feels like a splurge to get the really good running socks. So when you are gifted that, what a treat it is. And if you are me and you have a lot of family that lives out of town, I have a lot of family in Canada, it costs a fortune to send things, to mail things. So I try to get things that are as small as possible. So jewelry is a good choice. These earrings from Jenny Bird are great because they come in such a pretty package. I just wanted to show you, you slide it open and it comes with this little, you know, tie and it's wrapped up. So it makes for a really nice package. It's a nice classic simple earring, something that's really easy to gift to anybody because there's not a lot of people that wouldn't like an earring like this. So it's a safe bet if you're not 100% sure on what their taste is. This is a pretty good one to get, simple, classic, and just really beautiful. And the packaging is really nice. So this next item might be a little unconventional, but I actually really love gifting sunglasses. These ones are from Quay. So the price point in the sale is under $50. And they are such good quality. They're just really sturdy. The look is just so pretty. The color goes with a lot of skin tones, although Quay does have a lot of choices. I just thought this is a really nice pair that a lot of people would love and the person that I want to give it to I know specifically would really like them and I don't know it's kind of different it's kind of fun if you gave me a pair of sunglasses I know I would like that so especially if you know my taste but I don't know there's really not a pair of sunglasses that I've met that I haven't loved <laughs> and they're also smaller so it's an easy gift to mail and that's another good point that if you already have all your shopping done it's easy to get those parcels out in good time before the post office gets crazy. That is my worst thing to do around Christmas is go to the post office. So have your gifts early, mail them early, and you're gonna have the best Christmas. So I got two throws. This is just a cream, very plain color, and it's from UGG. It has the UGG logo on there and a little leather patch and then the barefoot dreams has this checker look on it which i thought was really pretty but i wanted to compare the two the barefoot dreams has a really soft kind of you know cozy up watching netflix on a snowy afternoon kind of feel to it it is more expensive by about 30 dollars. maybe it's like 95 in the cell and then you have this Ugg one, which they say is a faux fur. So it's a little heavier. It feels ha like it has a little more substance and it's about $65. So a little cheaper, like by about $30. It kind of depends, I think, on what it is that person you're gifting it to would use it for. If they're just one that just loves to curl up and get super cozy, I think this is a great one. If something that they wanna leave out after they've been cozy with their popcorn and Netflix, this is just a beautiful one to leave out. It has a lot of weight to it and just the color is plain, easy, will go with just about any decor. So I think this would be a really beautiful throw to leave out and it's like $30 cheaper. So I just want to show you those two things and you know a throw is something everybody can use. No one would be disappointed if they got either one of these throws. So I just wanted to remind you, throws are a great option. And while we are on the subject of barefoot dreams, how about a robe? This one is not all the way to the ground, but it's a really good length. It's actually pretty long for like a shorter one. It has nice big pockets. The sleeves are the perfect size. Sometimes they're just so wide that you can't do anything when you have the robe on other than just sit and 
put like a mask on. I wear my robes all morning until I get dressed. I'm in the kitchen cleaning and doing all kinds of things. So I want a robe that doesn't have those great big giant sleeves. And this one would definitely check all the boxes of what I look for in a robe. So I'm gonna end on a gift that I got that isn't your typical gift that you might think to give somebody. But I believe that if you have a girl, a woman, a lady, a female in your life that is kind of girly and likes glittery things, then she's gonna love this. Cause it's a splurge that she wouldn't probably think to get on her own. You know, if it's your daughter-in-law or your daughter or a special niece or someone younger that doesn't have that extra money to get something special for themselves. And then with New Year's Eve right around the corner, how adorable is this little bag? It is completely unpractical cause it's very tiny. It's so pretty, it's so sparkly, it's so girly. It's just everything that you ever want in a special going out bag. It comes with the little dust bag. In the cell, it's $90, so it's a gift for someone that you really like. But how special would they feel to get something that is completely unpractical, that they probably would not wanna spend their own money on, but when it's given to them, it's so fun. Obviously, this would be great New Year's Eve coming right around the corner, but this does not have to be a New Year's Eve bag. This is a bag that I would wear year round. I think it would be so cute to grab with a pair of jeans and just a nice blouse and a pair of heels going out to dinner. It would be that one little pop that made the whole outfit kind of fun and special. So there you go. That is my last gift and I just think it is my most special and I think it is the best gift that I'm giving to anybody this year. So that's it, that's all I have for you. I hope I was able to give you a few ideas and I hope I was able to inspire you to get some of that shopping out of the way now because trust me, come November, December, you will be thanking me if you do go ahead and get the major part of your shopping done now. What a gift it would be to open up that closet and say, Merry Christmas, self. <laughs> As always, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. And thank you for sticking around to the end so that I can tell you how much I love you. Mwah. Bye. Have a great day.